Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and this message it was sent to me by one of our admins. We received this message via our email address and the message reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post for me as hidden identity? I have my own story that I want you to share with the rest of the world. My story goes on like this. I am a woman who is aged 25 years old. I am a South African woman. I still remember that there was this other time when I was dating this man, but he was not from the same tribe where I came from. So this man, when he yet came, he was working for this other engineering company that he used to work for. So in our community, there was a road that was being built. So this guy, he used to drive this other truck. So when he came, when he was looking for accommodation, that was when I came across that guy. I was just passing through the site office where they used to park their trucks. Then that guy stopped me and he said that he wanted to have a conversation with me. While we were talking, I saw that indeed the guy was very interested in me, but as a woman, I had that thing of I just wanted to date people who only spoke my language and who understood my culture. I didn't want to date other men from different cultures, knowing that maybe our cultures will not be the same. So when we started talking, the men, I made it clear to him that me and him, it was quite impossible for us to end up dating since I only wanted to be with guys who were from my own culture and who spoke my own language. But the man said that he was not in love with me. But when a man is love with you, I think that you can clearly see that, no, this man is in love with me. So anyways, I gave him my numbers. At that time, when I gave him my numbers, I was about to finish off writing my metric exams. That was when we started talking on WhatsApp. As me and that man were busy speaking on WhatsApp, he always told me about how much his girlfriend that he had back home where he came from was always cheating on him. So I kept on feeling sorry for this guy because sometimes what he will do is that he would send me some receipts and he will show me that each and every month he was able to provide for his girlfriend like he was giving that woman whom he was dating what they call girlfriend allowance and my brother it was quite a lot because at that time if i could compare the kind of money that he was giving to his girlfriend for the girlfriend allowance most of the people that used to go to work they were not even able to get that money like a salary but yet here he was just giving that woman and at the end of the day he kept on complaining and saying that the same woman whom he was giving all of this money was just cheating on him so i felt so sorry for him we started talking a lot and he kept on asking me what is it that i wanted and in my heart the most important thing that i wanted was to have an iphone i could do anything that i could so that i can just have an iphone most of my girlfriends they have those iPhones but as for me there was like a situation at home whereby my mom and my dad they had separated and from the moment that they had gotten separated from each other then dad never took care of us and mom was the only one who used to look after us so there was no way that I could ask my mom to buy an iPhone for me I then just thought of asking this dude to buy me an iPhone and this idea of me asking that guy that I was not even dating to buy me an iPhone, that idea came from one of my friends who told me that she wanted to take away this man because this man that I was like kind of like dating and not dating was quite an honest man. And from the receipts that he had shown me whenever he would send to his woman those receipts, it meant that he was quite a good man. Like if he wanted to 
if you were dating him he was going to take care of you that was when i started dating him but i was only dating him in my heart without showing him that i had already fallen in love with him because deep down in my heart i still had that confusion and not wanting to date anyone who didn't come from the same culture that i came from but as time went on when that guy said that he wanted to move out of the site where they kept the trucks and all the equipment that they had and when he said that he wanted to stay in the location that was when i spoke with my mom and i told my mom that there was this other man a friend of mine who was looking for accommodation but i didn't tell my mom that me and this guy we were like just dating but not heavy dating so my mom said that we could find an accommodation for that guy when that guy came and started staying with us it was more like i was his wife now because i was the one who used to wash his clothes and i was the one who used to do everything cook for him and during the first days my mom before she had noticed that i was dating this guy i used to sneak out at night so that i can be with that man that was when we started sleeping together my brother when this man told me that their contract was coming to an end and he will be moving to another province i was heartbroken but i was so much in love with him so we stayed separated from each other for about a year but for the whole year that we were separated from each other this man was quite a different man because each and every month i knew that he was going to send me something the moment that you get paid i'll know that you would deposit something into my own account and that is how i was able to survive because i had one child with this other boyfriend of mine he was like my boyfriend since high school but this guy who was my baby daddy he was that kind of a man who was very selective when it came to the employment opportunities that came to him he only wanted those type of jobs whereby you'll be sitting in the office all day long he didn't want to do any thing that involved heavy labor so he was always sitting at home not doing anything and my brother i didn't have a problem with him being unemployed but the problem that i had with him was that he was cheating on me ever since we were in high school i don't know how many times that i had caught him cheating on me so i then chose to dedicate my love to that man but unfortunately he had moved out of our province he was now working in another province but still he kept his word he kept on sending me money and each and every time after speaking with him he always want me to send some pictures of my boy which i did so there was this other time it was towards december he told me that he wanted to be with me but at that time he was no longer working as a truck driver i don't know what kind of a business he was doing he kept on telling me that he was hustling and the kind of money that he was getting it was more than the amount that he used to get when he was working for that company